Oh man, what's up you guys, John's Moto Garage. Um, I'm pretty kind of bummed out today to be honest. As you can tell by the title, today we're saying goodbye to the to the street bob. When I bought the bike, I expected to have this thing for basically forever sitting in the garage. Like always there, always available for me. But unfortunately, Somehow I totally destroyed my rear tire. This Michelin Commander 2. This thing lasted me no more than like a thousand miles. I kid you not. And it's totally destroyed. I'm at a loss as to how this could have happened. My rear tire is completely bald and it's got a nail in it. The worst of everything. Today, I have to take my bike in to get a new tire on, and I'm not getting this thing back until tomorrow. <sighs> All right, you guys, clickbait. Sorry, I had to do it, man. I'm really getting into this clickbait thing, so big thumbs down if you hate it, but hopefully those who enjoy the channel can appreciate a little bit of humor and clickbait from time to time. No, I'm not getting rid of the Dyna. I'm taking it into the shop, though, so we are saying goodbye for a night. The Dyna is going to be spending the night up at a Harley shop on the west side while the tire gets put on, and then I'll pick it up manana. We're getting the Shinko 7.7. Thanks a bunch to everybody who recommended that tire. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it helps out with the wheelie game and we'll see what happens. On the next tire, I hope to have everything ready to go so I can just do it myself. But I procrastinated and this tire was on its last wire. The tire was on its last wire. That's a good one. This tire was on its last wire and I didn't want to wait like a week to get a new tire in. So I called around all over the valley, found a place that has the tire in stock. So we're gonna get the bike over to Arrowhead Harley an hour away and hopefully when I get this thing back we'll be good to roll. Say goodbye for now but not forever. She will most certainly be missed though that's for sure. All right you guys we made it to Arrowhead Harley. I'm gonna unload the bike and we'll get this sucker in the shop get that new rear tire on. There's a better look at it this thing's like running a slick. is in bike heaven right now with all these motorcycles. You see that dude? Daddy, all of the girls kill motorcycles look the same, but they're not. Yeah, they look the same, but they're different. Bye. Bye. What do you see, dude? What is it? Bye. More motorcycles? Those yep, you can look at them. Don't touch them, though. Bye. You see more out there, too? Hey, you went right through there. <laughs> All right. All right, slow down, dude. Slow down. Yeah. Yeah, you just look at it. All right, let's take a look at some of the different bikes. Ollie, what do you think of this one, dude? You like this one? What do you think, dude? Pretty cool? Bye. Bye. What do you think? Yeah, that's the one. Don't touch it, dude. Don't touch it. How about these ones over here? These ones are kind of cool. Look at this guy right here. This one here has a radio on it. That one's sold. All right, you guys, we're back at Arrowhead Harley the next day. I'm gonna set my ramps up and then I'm gonna go pay for the bike and load her up and we'll see how much I paid for the new tire, labor cost, all that good stuff. And then of course, my initial impressions and then once I've actually ridden on it in a future video, of course, we'll go into whether or not it actually helps out with the wheelie game, so stay tuned.
So, big copy here is yours for your records. Little one here goes to the cashiers for the 194. Oh, so we make payment yep. up there? Right on. Yeah, oh, you hand me cash, I'm going to Vegas. Nice, dude. The guy in the back said he's running to Vegas if I give it to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's why we don't hand them money back yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> right? That is my move. Not if you want to get your bike out. Yeah. You are good to go, sir. Right Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, you guys. So I've got the receipt here. And bam, there she is first look at the new rubber that thing just looks sticky i'll tell you what so the true test will be to see if we can once it's broken in not only bust a wheelie but bust a wheelie with your standard tire pressure and then also on any surface as well so huh i don't recall the clutch feeling like this have to see that's weird but presumably they would have uh, put the chain to spec as well and all that good stuff so so job subtotal was 165.95 or you see where all these different price breakdowns are so they do a free install here but you definitely pay a premium for the tire itself it's not just Harley though I checked some of the other dealers around none of them have the tire but the price was gonna be about the same within a couple bucks would have been a negligible difference so the tire itself was 158 you can get this tire on amazon for about 108 again i didn't want to wait for the turnaround time so i paid the premium and so where was the other price shop supplies 10 bucks and tax was 15 bucks so total is 195 195 out the door is what i paid to get my rear tire replaced rest assured I won't procrastinate on the next run. I will get all my tools and everything I need, and then I'll just do it myself. But. I swear it feels like they mess with my clutch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they mess with my clutch because I'm slipping it here and it's not. I said they, oh. Yeah, they totally mess with my clutch. I swear they mess with my clutch. That is whack. Anyway. What a beautiful sight. So we're back at the house, obviously. I unloaded the bike and I adjusted the clutch. They definitely messed with it. And I have it real stiff, obviously for the wheelie game. So I'm not sure why, why they would have gone about messing with that. I'm gonna look into what it takes to get the equipment to change the tire out myself. Because if it's doable, obviously I'd like to just do it that way and then I'm just taking it somewhere to get it balanced. Trying to get that film off the tire. I don't know what the... Uh... I, don't, I don't know what the true specs are for breaking in a tire. But I know that that film is a little slick and so obviously you don't want to be people typically say just ride as though you're riding in rain with a little bit of a you know extra caution but of course here in az we wouldn't know what it's like to ride in the rain but here in john's moto garage we throw caution to the wind bro if we're riding in rain that means we're trying to slide out because if you happen to get out that one day a year when it's raining then you're a lucky dog
Well, there you have you guys. The bike is back in the garage, and I'll get that tire broken in. Once it is, we will be able to... I'll do a review on the Shinko 777. Is it the best wheelie tire for Harleys? We'll find out. All right, you guys, stay tuned. John's Motor Garage.